there, it's Swift Game. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. And you may have noticed that our house upgrade is done. Look at this, our house is so big now. And we have a kitchen, which I am super excited about. And we have a double bed, which means we can eventually get married. So yeah, this is the new house. Uh, I'm actually gonna pick up that TV and put it over in this corner because I just like that better. And let's put that there. All right, yeah, so we got our fancy new house. Also, it's raining today, which means we do not have to water, which I'm super happy about, as I am always happy about. It's gonna be sunny tomorrow. What are the spirits doing? Uh, they're neutral. Not great, but not terrible. Uh, coleslaw, I already know how to do cook that. All right, so let's pop out and check our vegetables. And our corn is ready to be harvested, so let's do that. Hopefully we will get a gold corn, because we only need one more. Oh, we did, sweet. Oh, joy stay. All right, and the rest of, whoa. Okay, I'm sorry, I make that sound every time. It just, it, the, the, the thunder's scary, okay? All right, and we'll keep one of those gold corns. And put the other one, uh, nope. It must be in here. Yes. All right. Perfect. So yeah, we've got our five gold corns and we've got a few things here that we can kind of get rid of in town today. I don't know where Mika is. Uh, let's pop up and check the mushroom cave real quick. Oh, pff. I'm just going to walk into the wall there. Oh my gosh. Look at all these mushrooms. Perfection. And I actually need that red mushroom for the community center at some point. So we are doing well. So we're gonna put that red mushroom in here and sell the rest of them. All right, perfect. So uh, let's pop down to Marnie's and see if she's around because I think we can still give her stuff, right? Elliot's done for gifts. Alex, we can give one more thing too. Uh, I should probably look up what Alex likes. Marnie, we can give her one more gift, so we should do that. We only need one more start, or one more heart with her, and then we can get into her room, so. That sounds really creepy. <gasps> we only need one more star, and then we can get into her bedroom. Because I'm not super creepy at all. I don't think this opens until 9, right? Yeah. Alright, well let's see if there's anything to forage around while we're waiting. Got a sweet pea. Gosh, thunder's really rumbling today. And there doesn't appear to be anything else, so let's pop back up. All right. Little Marnie. Please be friends with me so I can get the mayor's underwear out of your bedroom. Hey. You can use a scythe to cut feed from grass. Or you can buy it from me, of course. Uh, why do you have a green spot? Do we have two hearts now? Oh, we do, just from talking to her. Well, I'll still give you the sweet pea anyway. Thank you. Sweet. I'll get the mayor's boxer shorts. You found the lucky purple shorts. Better return it to Lewis. Oh, I probably shouldn't walk around holding them up like that. He told me to do it discreetly, so uh, walking around with it over my head probably isn't what anyone would consider discreet. <laughs> Alright, Mayor Lewis. <laughs> Lucky pu purple shorts. Better not inspect these too closely. <laughs> Wise words, Swifty. Wise words. Alright, Lewis, you in here? Hey, man. You found them? Where? Oh, um, heh. <laughs> there? I have no idea how they could have gotten there. Cough. <laughs> this stays between you and me. Got it? <laughs> oh, Lewis. You old son of a gun. Are you and Marnie having a tryst? Here, have blueberry. Thanks, this is great. Oh, dear. Oh, so much scandal in a small town. Uh, is Alex around? Should probably give him another gift. Hey, man. Hmph. <laughs> this is not good weather for sports. 
Oh well, I can always lift weights inside. Except you're not doing that. Uh, I don't know how you feel about blueberries. Thanks. Hey, Evelyn. When I woke up, I heard dripping from somewhere. I think the roof might be leaking. In the old days, George would have scampered right up there and fixed it. Sigh. Uh, you have a strapping young grandson who could do that for you. Alex is my grandson. Have I told you that already? Huh? Speak up. Uh, well, I assumed. But anyway, yeah, you have a strapping young grandson who can get up on the roof and fix it. Like, why are you not getting Alex to do it? Uh, you want me to slay six slimes? Eh, I'll take it. Oh, it's uh, Sam's birthday today. We should go and see him. I believe Sam lives in the blue house with Jody and Vincent, if I remember correctly. I sure do remember correctly. Oh, you're in your bedroom. I can't get into your bedroom. God damn it, Sam. I wanna look for bugs, but mom gets mad when I'm all dirty. It's a tough choice. What did you say? It's 11.30 a.m. already? My goodness. I still have tons of work to do. Uh, Sam, are you gonna come out? Cause uh, I'd like to give you a birthday gift, but you're just jamming out in your room. I guess I'll wait a bit. Might as well fish since it is raining. You always do better at fishing when it's raining. Sorry if you can hear that in the background. Uh, the people, the maintenance crew in my apartment building have decided to uh, go around with the weed whacker today. So if you can hear that, I do apologize. Man, fish are not biting today. Driftwood and seaweed, my god. No, you're still in your room. All right, well, you know what? I'm a busy person, I got things to do, so. <laughs> we'll just have to live with the fact that I might miss your birthday. Oh, right. Yay, 750 gold, sweet. Thanks, Mayor Lewis. You need to lose your boxer shorts more often if you're gonna reward me that much. Alright, I guess we'll go up to the mine for a bit since it's raining. I don't know. We're over halfway through summer now, so soon enough it will be fall and then winter. And then we'll be able to mine all we want because we don't have any crops to take care of. bit late to be going into the mine, but me. Whatevs. Into the elevator we go. Oh jeez. You scared me. Oh no, am I gonna have to find find the ladder or play find the ladder? There we go. Oh of course, sweet. Ugh, I hate playing find the ladder. Oh, there we go. Not doing too bad with find the ladder. <laughs> Man, so much copper. I think once you hit 40, you start getting iron ore, which is good, because I'll need that for future tool upgrades. me shadow monster and there's all kinds of quartz lying around sweet oh. mm, nothing more quartz all right let's play find the ladder we're doing great with the ladder. But now we're on 39, so you know we're definitely not going to find the ladder right away now. <laughs> or it'll be too dark for me to see it.
Oh, come on. I'm so close to being done. So close to hitting 40. Are you serious? This is just mean. Oh, there's the ladder. Ah, oh, yeah, level 40, here I come. Yeah! A slingshot! You received a slingshot. Is that like a weapon or what? Yep, or it's a tool. AKA weapon to the bottom. Oh, so the, the next quest is to reach the bottom of the mine. Oh yeah, this is the, uh, the ice areas. I do have a quest to kill six slimes, so oh, man, you guys are strong. So there's bats down here. Oh my gosh, I need I need a weapon upgrade. Toot sweet. Ow. You mind, sir? You can't get me, there's rock in the way. Honestly. Alright, so this is number four. Ugh, I hate this stupid status effect. Come on. Uh, ooh, amethyst. Sweet. Uh, and some iron ore. Excellent. Oh, no. Uh, let's throw that out. We don't need driftwood in our life. Ooh, frozen geode. God damn it. Uh, we also don't need green algae. That's fine. Oh, the little coal sprites! I forgot about those guys. They're the cutest. They remind me of the little soot sprites from the Mizaki movies. You guys are so cute. And they drop coal, which is always nice. Oh, that is an artifact. I need that in my life. Ah, crap. Um, yes, I'm aware my inventory is full. I'll get rid of the stone, I guess. Hey, guys! I have to kill you for coal. I'm so sorry. so sorry. Oh, god damn it. I'm getting way too much stuff here. Um, crap. Guess I'll get rid of the sweet peas. I'll let you two live down there. I'm not a total monster. Oh, god damn it. I'm really running out of space here. I guess I'll get rid of the sap. Frozen geode. Uh, let's just pop down and see if there's anything down here. Oh, some bats. Yay. Oh. God damn it, no. Alright, let's just go back up because it's getting late. Ow. And my inventory's super full, so. So that was profitable. I got a whole bunch of gemstones. Let's get back to the house and sort through all the stuff we got. Totally missed Sam's birthday, but you know, we tried. He was just hanging out in his room. We're not allowed in there, so. Oh well. And tomorrow's supposed to be sunny, so we will have to, uh. We will have to water plants tomorrow. So that goes in, that goes in, those two can be sold, uh, that can go in. I'm actually going to take the gems out of here. Uh, 
coal goes in. Two ores. Oh, I need that. Alright, so let's... We'll keep one of each gem. And the rest will probably just sell. Oh, no, oh, I want that. Thank you. Alright, so blueberries are gifts. Geodes need to be cracked, and that can go in there, and then everything else can be sold. So, boom, 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 boom. Perfect. So, tomorrow we'll probably go on a geode run. Uh, we really need to get those geodes taken care of. Uh, we already checked the TV today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I decided to check it before bed, but let's go to bed. So yeah, we, we've already covered, recovered from the uh, cost of upgrading the house. Like, we have over 10,000 gold again, so we're doing pretty well. I am pleased. Sweet. Alright. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Spirits are very displeased. Well, it's a good thing we went to the mine yesterday. Uh, summer's known for its lightning storm. If you know how to craft a lightning rod, you can harvest electricity and create battery packs. These can be sold or used for crafting. Interesting. Anything ready to be picked? Ah, oh, blueberries and peppers. Sweet. Man, we're gonna have a ton of blueberries. Oh my gosh, look at all these blueberries. So many blueberries. And some awesome peppers. All right. Oh, and we got some swift key. Remember to eat healthy or you won't have enough energy to work hard. I'm including one of my favorite recipes. Make sure to use ripe tomatoes. Lewis. Ah, thanks, Lewis. Recipe for spaghetti. All right. So boom, 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 boom. All right, and is there anything else we need to be concerned about? There's Mika. Hey, little kitty. You're so cute. Let's cut back some of the grass. Get some feed. Uh, I'm not getting any feed. Is my silo full? Oh, my silo's full. Okay, so we'll avoid cutting grass then, because we will eventually get a coop and stuff, but uh... Actually, we could probably do that because I have the money for it. Maybe that's something we'll look at doing next episode. I try to figure out like where I want to put it and stuff too, so. Tis not a decision to be taken lightly for one with, who likes to keep things organized like me. Because if I put it in the wrong spot, I can't move it, which would suck. Alright. Oh, jeez. Man, this place is a sty. I really gotta start cleaning up this area. No, I'm trapped by the baby trees. Baby trees, why? God damn it, baby trees, get out of my way. All right, so let's pop into town because Clint's, Clint's blacksmith shop will be open by the time we get in there. Oh, no, wrong chest. Sorry, had a brain fart there. This one, there we go. All right, uh, we're doing pretty good for wood. We're at 666. Yeah, my demonic wood is doing quite well. Uh, get a sweet pea here. Oh, oh, come here, there we go. Uh, I'm trying to think what we could do today. Are there any quests there? Did I finish the Kill the Slimes quest? What? The ice slimes don't count? Are you serious? Do they have to be the green ones? That's so weird. Sorry, I was just thinking about some gadgets I'm making. Decide I'm gonna build a robot someday. That should be very easy for you. You should be more realistic. It sounds challenging. Uh, 
By saying that should be very easy for you, she could take it as flattering, but she could also be like, oh, so you're saying I shouldn't do it? Whereas if I sa it sounds challenging. Uh, I'll say that. You're right, but I love a challenge. Yeah, see? So if I'd said it would be too easy, she'd be like, what? Uh, Willie wants a quartz. Well, we have lots of quartz back at the farm, so I'm cool with that. But I will have to go back to the farm, which kind of sucks. <laughs> So let's pop up and see Clint first, because we have a shit ton of geos to process. us. Come in. Hopefully we get some more artifacts from the museum. Ooh. A shiny, whatever it is. Pyrite. Ooh, earth crystal. Oh, another mineral. Alamite. Clay. Useful. Uh, ooh, that's pretty. Celestine, and some stone. And finally, oh, a duplicate of one we already have? No, Jagoid is something else. All right, perfect. So it seems like we got a lot from the museum. I don't know if we already have some of it. Uh, let's see. Hang in there, I got some stuff for you. So we'll put the prehistoric skull there. Ooh, yay, new reward. Uh, which dwarf scroll is this? Oh. What? What did I do? What did I do? Ah, crap. What? <laughs> I don't know what I did. Let's go back. Uh, so the Jagoite is new, the Pyrite is new, the Alamite is not. And that's Dwarf Scroll 2. And the Celestine is not new. Okay. To museum. Oh, I already have one of the squirrels, so I'll put this one here. Uh, let's put that there, and that one there, and that's it. So, what are my rewards? Oh, I got a pretty painting. Nice. That's cool. Alright, and there's a new book for me to read. Scarecrows. Once you start growing a lot of crops on your farm, you can expect to be visited by crows. In the morning, you might discover that crows made breakfast out of your hard work. One way to prevent those bothersome crows from eating your crops is to set up scarecrows near your crops. Be aware that scarecrows have limited range, so you'll need multiple if your farm is large. Scarecrows keep track of how many crows they've diverted. You can use them to tell if you're, they're in a useful spot. Collectible scarecrows aren't just for looks. They work just, as, just the same as the regular model. Yeah, I already, uh, already know all about scarecrows, but thanks for the info anyway. Alright, well let's pop back up to the farm and sell some of this crap. And uh, we will grab some quartz for Willy. Is Alex out and about? He isn't, that's weird. Is it anyone's birthday today? No, it's Demetrius' birthday tomorrow. Hopefully I will remember that the next episode, though I probably will not. <laughs> Sell the Celestine, we'll keep the clay, we'll sell the Alamite and the Earth Crystal, and we'll keep everything else. And actually, I'll put my cute little painting up in my house. Because why not? Um, I'll put it there. Aw, oh, it's so pretty. I like it. Alright, and we will drop off this, this, and this. And oh, we need quartz. It was quartz he wanted, right? Yeah. All right, so let's go down and see if we can, oh, I haven't watered my crops yet. My God, what a brain fart I've had. I gotta go back and water my crops. I should do that before I go see Willie. He'll be in the saloon tonight. Like he usually goes to the saloon in the evening. So my God, I can't believe I forgot to water my crops. You guys have probably been yelling at me. So unlike me. Too used to it raining. <laughs> I'm so sorry, little crops. I'm the worst farmer. That's okay. We're watering them now and it still counts, so. 
At least I remembered. Can you imagine if I got to bed? Oh, I would have been so mad with myself. Especially seeing as like we're kind of on a time crunch, especially for like the melons and stuff. We definitely don't want to miss a day. Yes, how could I forget to water my crops? It's a job that I just loved so very, very much. Yay. Ugh. So repetitive. Someday the rest of my corn will grow up and match the rest of it. It's getting there. I think corn takes quite a while to grow, so we were actually quite lucky that the Harvest Fairy decided to visit just over half of it. This is kind of a hint that I should only be growing like four rows of stuff and I'm growing six. The reason I did that is because when I eventually have sprinklers, you can put the sprinkler in the middle and have two, two sprinklers per patch, but... That's just the way I do things. Everybody does things differently, so. Everybody farms their own way, so. Let's pop down and see Lily. I'm actually gonna make myself a field snack. Or two field snacks, because I'm getting a little tired and I'll probably end up doing some We'll take a cave carrot and we'll also make a field snack just because if we I do some fishing I'm gonna get real tired real fast. So alright, and then back in with you. Alright, let's head to the beach. Hopefully Willie's around. Like I said, he does go to the saloon in the evening, so he is pretty easy to find. Mary Lewis, I see you up there. Hey, ladies. Maybe I'll just get takeout from the saloon. Woman after my own heart. Housework is frustrating because you're never finished. I agree. The day after I sweep the floor, it's dirty again. Yeah, especially with two boys in the house. But yeah, I feel your pain. I freaking hate housework. I make myself do it, but ugh. It's just like, why do I clean every week when it's just gonna get dirty again? but I'm too much of a clean freak to not clean, so it's kind of a never-ending cycle with me. Is Ellie at home? He is not. Oh, hey guys. Dad was telling me about our national enemy, the Godoro Empire. They sound like a ruthless bunch. You're not as boring as most grown-ups. Aw, thanks, Vincent. There's actually a lot of wild food in the area if you know where to look. I've been having fresh salads almost every day. Oh, Leah, you're such a hippie and I love it. All right, Will, you down here? Hey, Willie. Mumble, mumble, eh? I thought I would tell you about my thoughts, but it's a fisherman's secret. Is it now? Well, you know what, here you go. Hey, it's the quartz I requested. Is that the quartz I requested? I really appreciate it. Here's your payment, as promised. Thanks, man. And we're up to two hearts with you, which is good. Uh, let's do a little bit of foraging, because it has been a while since I was down here. And then we'll probably do a bit of fishing, then we'll probably head home. Oh my gosh, there's so many things here. Holy crap! Jeez, I'm glad I came down here. This has just banana pants. Sweet. Make some sweet money off all of, all of this. Alright, let's do some fishing. Actually, I should have bought... Damn it, I should have bought bait and... Or just bait from, uh, Wooly. I was gonna say bait and tackle, but I don't have the Iridium Rod yet, so... I can't use tackle. But 
someday I'll be able to. Yay, red mullet. Ah, uh, red mullet, we meet again. It's been far too long, old friend. Whoa, okay. Come your titties there, fish. Even though you're a fish and you technically don't have titties with which to calm. Ooh, tuna. Ooh, 60 inches, nice. Uh, let's eat a cave carrot. Oh, that gave us a little bit of energy back. And we'll eat a field snack. All right. Try to get a little bit more fishing done. It's only 6 p.m., so. Tried to make the most of our day. You know, now it's taking forever for, for the fish to bite. Figures. Another red mullet. Yay! Oh, come on, fish. Don't be this way. Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay. Damn. I don't know what that was, but holy crap. I am not a skilled enough fisherman to catch that yet. I'm starting to get trash. Awesome. And Joja Cola. Hooray. Guess I'll get rid of the broken glasses and keep the Joja Cola. Okay, I'm out of inventory space, so let's head back. Maybe we'll stop into the saloon and say hi to everybody since we have to walk past there anyway. I'm assuming Elliot's door is locked now. I think he locks it at like eight. Most people in town do. Ah, uh, the nighttime noises. Oh yeah, another thing I found out you can do that I don't usually do because if anyone catches you at it, they like don't like you anymore is you can go through trash. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. And sometimes you find stuff. But if anyone catches you at it, they're kind of disgusted. <laughs> Understandably so. Oh, hey, the farmer. I don't often chit chat with strangers. Uh, dude, I've been living here for like two months now. Pam and Clint come to the saloon almost every night. I'd probably go out of business if they stop coming. Except Pam doesn't pay you. So make sure you don't drive them away. Is, is that a passive aggressive way of telling me to piss off? I consider the bees and butterflies to be my special friends. Uh, uh, Emily? <laughs> are, are you okay? <laughs> Alright, and then Shane. I think Shane's here almost every night, too. Business has been slow lately. You should upgrade your tools. I could use the cash. What do you want? Leave me alone. Okay, fine. Jeez. Shane. Friendly as ever. You need to start buying beer and giving it to Shane. That usually wins them over pretty fast. All right. So yeah, we're doing pretty well. Like a lot of the townspeople have like two hearts with us now. So that's good. Feeling a little more liked by the townspeople. <laughs> All right, let's sell some stuff. I'll sell the Jojo Cola because screw that. And all the shells. Because why not? And I'll sell the sweet pea too. Uh, and the spice berries. I'll keep the blueberries. Like, that's a lot of blueberries. I'm definitely not going to give them all away. But I'll keep whatever I don't give away for when I eventually get a keg. Did I check the TV today? Yeah, I definitely did. 
Alright, so let's head to bed. Ooh, love some farming. Yay! Whoa, look at all that money! Woo! 5,000 gold! Sweet! All right, well, on that note, <laughs> I'm going to end this episode here. If you guys are enjoying the series and you like this video, please press the like and subscribe buttons. I really do appreciate every bit of support that I get from you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day!